guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a Thanksgiving look for you guys because Thanksgiving is in three days. Who's ready to eat their hearts out? I am. But if this is not up tonight, then it'll be up tomorrow and then Thanksgiving will be two days away. So I will do my best to get that up as soon as possible in case you kinda wanna practice before Thursday. So um, this look is super simple. I went with a pretty trendy thing right now, which is the Cranberry Smoky Eye. And then I have two lip options for you guys. One is a drugstore lip option, and then this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills, Sad Girl. I actually wanted to try this on because I had it for a few weeks. And um, I wanted to see if I like that sparkly look on myself because Dose of Color has come out with that super, super pretty holiday set. And like an hour and I want to buy it. So I guess I'm going to get it. But anyway, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to be priming my face with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and then I'm going to be going with my color correcting products. I have an in-depth tutorial of my foundation routine and my color correction process that I just uploaded so I will link that down below if that's something you're interested in seeing. but I'm going to be going in with my Becca under eye brightener and then my foundation. I'm using my MAC Pseudo Fix Fluid in the shade NC20. And I'm going to be spritzing my brush with MAC Fix Plus and then dotting that all over my face and blending it in with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. As always, I'll be going back with my Beauty Blender just to make sure that everything is blended and I don't have too much excess product sitting on my skin. I'm going to be using my Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm, I believe, and just applying that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and the center of my forehead. And I'll be blending out the areas I applied the least product just so they don't dry and they're still easy to blend. To prevent my under eye from creasing, I'm going to go with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder on my Beauty Blender and use that to bake my under eye. I'm also going to go back and blend out my concealer on my lid and then apply the same translucent powder with my e.l.f. Elf Small Tapered Brush. I'm just going to let that set underneath my eyes and set other areas of my face and then do my brows off camera. Now I'm going to wipe off the excess and then I'm going to go with my Stila Contour Duo which I have absolutely been loving this. It blends out like a dream and applying that onto my face on the areas that I want to contour. And I'm going to go with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and MAC Fix Plus again just to spray that on there and help it blend even more easily. I have literally been using this every day since I got it because I love it so much. It gives such a natural finish and it's so easy to work with. Now to set that contour, I'm going to go in with these two shades from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and applying those over the areas that I contoured. And then using the two lightest colors in that palette, I'm going to go back again with the same e.l.f. tapered brush and sharpen up my contour and add a little bit more brightness to the center of my chin. For blush, I'm going to go in with the shade Berry Amour from Milani. Um, it's a baked blush and it's my favorite everyday color. I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and the tip of my nose just to add a little more color to my face. And then I'm going to highlight with the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlight. And I'm just really going to take a bath in that. <laughs> Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the shades Lemon and Nooner from the Naked 3 palette on my Sigma E40 and begin working those into my crease. Just blending them back and forth with windshield wiper motions and building up the color. The next palette that I'm going to go into is the Lorac Mega Pro. It's the original palette, um, the first one that they came out with, and I'm going to be taking the shade mulberry and applying that for my Sigma E25 into my outer V. This is really going to give us that cranberry color. It's still a very wearable cranberry eyeshadow look but I still want to make sure that that's pretty defined and that our crease um, really does show off the cranberry color. So I'll be switching back and forth between my Sigma E40 and my Sigma E25 to blend and then also to continue to build up that color into our crease. Of course you know that I have to use some sort of ColourPop product, so I'm going to go into the shade Drift and I'm going to pack this on with my finger onto my lid 
This is also a really pretty cranberry shade. It looks matte in the pan, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, and I love it for the lid. It also would work really well as a base. And to make sure that's splendid, I'm going to take my Sigma E25 and blend that in. And then I'll be applying the shade Sequin right in the center to kind of give that sandwich effect, or also I believe it's called the spotlight effect, just right in the center of my eye. Now I'm going to apply the shades Liar and Nooner from the Naked 3 palette onto my lower lash line with a pencil brush. And then I'm going to apply my eyeliner um, off camera, both top and bottom eyeliner. Um, I did kind of zoom through this, but um, I do have an in-depth tutorial on my wing liner that I will link down below. And now I'm going to apply my falsies. I'm going to use my favorite, which are the Ardell Demi Wispies. And I'm just going to apply those with my tweezers and kind of play around with them to place them where I want them. And then to make sure that my natural lashes are blended in with the falsies, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and apply that to my top and lower lashes. And now moving on to the lips. I know I said that it's a drugstore lip, but I forgot that I went in with the Urban Decay Liar Pencil. But if you want to dupe for that, try the ColourPop Bound Pencil. It's one that I talked about in my most recent video, and they are very similar, and I absolutely love those shades. So I'm going to take the liar pencil and line my lips and then I'm going to go in with a Rimmel lipstick and the number 14 and it's literally your lips but better. It's such a beautiful shade. So I wanted to include something that was neutral and wearable and then I also wanted to do a more bold lip. So this is lip option number one. And now for lip option number two, I'm going to go with Anastasia Beverly Hills Sad Girl. And I did wipe off the lipstick I had before just to give me a clean base. And I'm just going to apply this onto my lips. I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving and enjoy this tutorial. And if you do decide to recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram. I will also link that down below. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.